let's start this video with a problem statement in hand okay so let's say you have three pdf files one two three these three pdf files talk about three different games so this one is about cricket this one is about football and this one is about chess now your job is to take this as your training data and train a machine learning model so that tomorrow if i give you a new file you should be able to tell me this file is talking about which particular game so this is a classification problem and this is your training data now for fitting the data in a machine learning algorithm you have to do something called as feature extraction from the training data so how do you extract features from this text data and feed that into a machine learning algorithm that is what we will learn in this video welcome to unfold data science this is aman here and i am a data scientist in this video i am going to make a very solid foundation of feature extraction in text for you so if you watch this video till end you will have a very solid understanding of how the feature extraction takes place in text data let's start now when we talk of feature extraction in text there are few things that we need to understand first first is what is a corpus okay so corpus is a very frequently you know used term in the world of text analytics so what is a corpus a corpus is nothing but combination of all your text data so in this case whatever text is written in this pdf plus in this pdf plus in this pdf that entire text becomes our corpus okay after corpus there is something you should know is known as bag of words so bag of words is normally written as bow so what is bag of words let us say there is a corpus with 1000 words okay in that 1000 words there are let's say 800 unique words okay so your bag of words will have all the unique words in your corpus for example if there are five unique words in this four different unique words here and three different unique words here then in this corpus we will have 5 plus 4 plus 3 those many words inside a bag okay and why do we call this a bag is there is no ordering there is no preservation of the ordering of the sentences this is very important to understand guys in few of the text analytics use cases you will need bag of words in few of the text analytics use cases bag of words does not work okay so what are the properties of bag of words it will have all the unique words in it but the order of the sentences will not get preserved okay now if you understand bag of words then the next step of feature extraction what we do is we try to create a vector of these documents so what we try to do is we try to represent these documents in terms of a vector that can be fed into a machine learning algorithm so how that vector will look like is let's say in your bag of words there are 10 different words word 1 word 2 up to word 10 okay so this is how your bag of words is 10 different words now how we can represent this document one in this bag of words is in this uh, vector is it will just count the frequency of a particular word in all these documents so word word is how many times in document one so the index will be document one document two and document three so word 1 how many times this word 1 is in document 1 let's say 5 times so 5 comes here how many times word 2 is in document 2 let's come let's say 7 so 7 comes here and wherever there is no occurrence all these will be zero okay now what you can observe here is this is nothing but a vector of this document and in terms of the word okay this is known as document vector okay and this approach is known as counting the frequency of the word in vectors and this approach can be implemented in python using a package called count vectorizer now how this can be used in a machine learning algorithm now we were trying to solve a classification problem so you will have a target variable that target variable says that this is your target variable okay the target variable says that this is cricket okay so let us write here cricket this is football let us write here football this is chess let us write here chess now you have the numbers and you have a target variable now you can fit a machine learning problem machine learning algorithm on it very nicely very well okay but there are problems with this approach this is a very basic approach and hence it has problems what is the problem problem number 1 is this matrix will have lot of zero values which means 
there will be lot of words which is there in only one document okay and hence those words will come in the unique words but it will not be there in other documents and hence it will be zero so this document becomes really big this vector becomes really big in size hence difficult in processing what is the other problem the other problem is if you are counting number of words in a document right let us say this is cricket okay so there are two problems here number one the word cricket will occur so many times in this document okay hence cricket will go very high as compared to other words so if i talk of document one the word cricket will go very high as compared to other words which will suppress the effect of other words so what we do for this is we just normalize by number of words so we just count the frequency divided by number of words in that document to normalize it okay the second thing the second problem with this approach is there are very frequently occurring words for example if we talk of these three documents these three are different games okay so there is a possibility that the word game g a m e will be there in all three documents lot many times there is a possibility in that case what will happen is all these vectors against the word game let us say there is a word game against the word game all these vectors will see very high numbers okay and when you fit a classification model here the model will see that this feature is there in all the vectors so it will be difficult to learn the pattern from these vectors okay so what is the alternative to that or how do we overcome that so there is a very important concept that you should know in the world of text analytics that is known as tfidf okay so what is tfidf is tf stands for term frequency and idf stands for inverse document frequency so this is another level of sophistication on what we have shown as seen as word count okay so tf is nothing but how this is derived for a word is for the word i in document j for the word i in document j tf idf is nothing but tf stands for frequency so frequency of word i in document j multiplied by okay now this second term is important guys this is known as inverse document frequency so what is the purpose of this second term is it will suppress the effect of commonly occurring words in all these documents so in this case if game is a word which is occurring in all these documents then the job of idf is to suppress the effect of game so that the data makes more meaning okay and how it is derived is log of capital n by capital n by frequency of word i in all the documents okay so if you see this formula carefully this game okay let us say this is occurring in document 1 50 times so frequency of the word game in document 1 will be 50 times okay and this word game is occurring in out of 3 documents let's say in 2 documents game occur so in how many documents game occur two so two will come in denominator in how what is the total number of documents so capital n stands for total number of documents how many documents three so log 3 by 2 now this is a smaller number this is a smaller number so what will happen is the tf idf value for the word game will come down or it will not inflate by a bigger number okay that is the entire purpose here on the other hand if you take the word cricket so what what is the word that we want to be very precisely present in this document the word is cricket in this document the word is football so that it is easier for the machine learning algorithm to learn okay now if we talk of cricket let us say cricket occurs 50 times here so 50 and out of these three documents in only one document cricket is there so log 3 by 1 okay now this number will be a bigger number this number will be a bigger number when this number is a bigger number then 50 is inflated up by a bigger margin on the previous case game was bring game was brought down using this term so that is the purpose of tf idf term frequency inverse document frequency term frequency just counts the frequency and it normalizes in the background as i told for a bigger document just dividing by the number of words in the document for tf and for idf it just tries to 
बैलेंस दी मोस्ट अकर्डिंग वर्ड इन ऑल दी डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड ट्राइज टू ब्रिंग फॉरवर्ड दी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन इच इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स इन इच ऑफ दीज डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड हाउ टी एफ आई डी एफ वैक्टर विल लुक लाइक इज द सेम वे इन विच वी सॉ दी वर्ड वैक्टर सो डब्ल्यू वन डब्ल्यू टू डब्ल्यू टेन एंड देन टी एफ आई डी एफ वैल्यूज विल कम हियर इट कैन बी वन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर एंड देन देर विल बी ए टारगेट वेरिएबल दैट सेज फर्स्ट डॉक्यूमेंट इज क्रिकेट सेकेंड डॉक्यूमेंट इज फुटबॉल थर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट इज चेस नो यू हैव दी डेटा यू हैव ए टारगेट कॉलम सो दिस इज ए प्लेन सुपरवाइज मशीन लर्निंग प्रॉब्लम टेक एनी ऑफ द क्लासीफायर लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन रैंडम फॉरेस्ट यू कैन वेरी इजली फिट दिस डेटा इन टू दैट एलगोरिदम एंड फिक्स द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फीचर एक्सट्रैक्शन इन मशीन लर्निंग यूजिंग टेक्स डेटा सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट जस्ट राइट मीन द कमेंट आई एल सी यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद द पाथन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ बोथ दीज टेक्निक्स टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड टेक केयर